Yes guys, welcome back to the channel. Andy Carter here and thanks very much for checking out this video because I'm excited for this one. I'm at the Lion's Den, okay? I am on the Ells Golf Course here in Dubai and they've named these next three holes the Lion's Den. And it's basically one of the toughest finishes to a front nine that we have in Dubai. It's a 507 yard par four and I'm actually so lucky today because this is downwind. I've never played this hole downwind so this is great. However, the 10th is going to be difficult, but 11 is going to be a little bit easy. So the 10th hole is a 467 yard par four dog leg with huge bunkers to try and avoid off the tee and a 210 yard par three on the 11th to finish the lion's den area. So this is by far one of the hardest holes on the golf course. So let's see what score I can shoot. If I, if I can get this round the next three holes in level par, I'll be happy because I can imagine the members of this golf club must dread coming to this hole. Once you've got through the first eight holes, this must be a brutal next three. But for today, let's see if we can tame the lion. Where am I going to hit my tee shot? Oh yeah, I'm going to hit it to the right edge of the clubhouse. All right. Oh, I've got my drawer off the tee. I'm absolutely pumping it at the moment. That was perfect. It doesn't get much better than that, to be honest, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Welcome to the gun show, ladies and gentlemen. I have 120 yards to the flag, which if my maths is correct, and I'm pretty sure it is, that was around a 370 to 380 yard drive. I did say it was pumping downwind and the fairways may be like concrete, but I don't care. I have never had a sand wedge into this green before. I do normally, when I do play this, it's normally like a six or a four iron. Oh, the lion is getting tamed. It's like a cub. All right, now then, 105 yards to the front edge of the green. That's why I've got the sand wedge just to try and land it up onto the green with a little bit of release. Now, this is a very tricky, now this is a very, very tricky second shot because of the, there's a huge drop off at the front of the green. So I need to make sure that this does land all the way up there. That needs to go, that needs to go. Oh. That wasn't too far away. I just got a little bit underneath the ball as I hit it. Probably hit it a bit, tiny bit high on the groove so it didn't quite get the distance. I'm short, front edge of the green. Not great. Okay, not ideal. So the idea was just to try and land it towards that front edge and everything shoots forward. So now I've got a very, very fast chip. I didn't want to hit the gap wedge in case I went off one of these sides. That is a huge drop off. That is about a 20 foot drop to the side there. So you can't really miss that green left. So I've kind of missed it in the right place, but I've got a very fast chip, very fast chip. A little 54 degree, a little chip and run. Lovely strike. Oh, played it quite well. Right, also got a new putter in the bag, got the Scotty Cameron Futura 5S. I've been looking for a centre shaft, no, I've not been looking, I've wanted a centre shafted putter, I think ever since I was a junior, I've just never really had one. I saw this in the, uh, the fitting studio, so I just thought I'd nick it. So I've actually not bought it, I've just stole it to be honest. I might give it back, depending on how the putts go. But it's the bigger head, I've gone back to cack handed, so you're going to see a slightly different putting grip as well. I'm trying to really weaken this right hand round as much as possible to keep it quiet. Left in below the right. It just feels so much more comfortable. But the centre shaft just feels so much more balanced through the stroke. So let's see if it actually works. It's got a little right edge put here. Oh, maybe it's not right edge. That's a good stroke as well. I actually just maybe hit it a little bit too hard. Greens are looking quite rapido. Oh, all right. Right, that's what golf does, isn't it? After giving it the big licks off the tee shot and one over par. 
All right, so this particular tee box is just under repair, but I just want to hit one from this side, just so you can kind of see the, the length of this hole. I've got three, two massive bunkers in the middle of the fairway that I've got to try and thread it through 467 yards into wind. So this is playing almost the same length as the last hole. In yardage, certainly not in terms of club selection, I don't think. Another fairway anyway. Let's see how far we've got in after that one. That was good. Okay, so just before I hit this second shot, I'm gonna give you a little update on something I'm working with a friend on at the moment, or well, I'm just kind of helping out really. Um, I'm gonna be hosting his golf travel events here in Dubai. They are running with Emirates Holiday, so it's all kind of safe and all that, so it's with a proper company, you know what I mean? And we're gonna be doing golf trips in Dubai. Now the rates, as you can imagine, coming from the airlines, coming from the directly from the hotels, are outrageous. They literally can't be, they just can't be matched by anybody. You name a you name a golf travel company and they can't match it. It's, it's literally impossible. So to give you a bit of context, four rounds of golf, flights with Emirates from the UK in a hotel is less than two thousand pounds. To stay in this particular hotel of that week at any time of next year is two thousand pounds for a room only. So just to give you a bit of idea of how ridiculous these deals are. Now, obviously you can get cheaper deals. You can go and stay in cheaper hotels. You can go and play cheaper golf courses. This is for those that want to come out here and play the best golf courses. And this is on that itinerary as well, because it's absolutely mega. So I'll stick the link in the description below. If you want to go and check them out, do so. I was going to say you get to see me, but that's not really going to help, is it? You know what I mean. Right, 190 yards into the flag. Oh, into wind, the wind just swirled. Right, I've got a five iron. I'm gonna play this with a little draw off the right side of the green. Same swing as the last two full shots, really. Oh my God, I'm on it today, guys. I am on it today, go. All right, we're dancing. So I can hit a green from 190 yards with a five iron, but I struggle from 120 with a sandwich. What a game, what a game. Okay, I can confirm I've never ever played this hole this well. I don't think I've ever hit this green in regulation, but here we are folks, we've got a chance of birdie. Let's be having you. All right, so what I like to do on these putts is get a little bit of aim point, start to try and feel where the slope is. For me, it's a definite right to left, but then again, I said that on the last hole. Uh, maybe I've just got one leg shorter than the other. A little bit of grain definitely kind of going that way. So the grain is when the, the grass, what, which way the grass is growing. And it's definitely right to left as well. So I'm actually going to be aiming this whew, about here. About a hole to the right of the hole. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's a good putt. I think I played it well. Right. Oh, still one over with one to play. All right, so the last hole of the Lion's Den is here. Can you break par? Can you handle the pressure? Best of luck now. Classic risk reward this one. I mean, the more aggressive you are with your tee shot, the greater the risk on testing short hole. Okay, so that's come straight from the Big Easy's mouth. The last hole and one over par. I've got 184 yards of tee is closed for the back tee, so it's giving me an opportunity. It's downwind from 184 yards. What am I hitting? I'm thinking six. What would you hit? 184, downwind. Scrap that, not 184. It is 200 yards to the actual flag. It's 184 to the middle of the green from a little bit further up there. So I've got 200 yards to the flag. So I'm nearly playing it at full capacity. I've got a six iron. Need a little, slightly lower tee than that. Just tee the ball up just above the top of the grass. Beautiful. Right, come on. One more good swing for this vlog. Oh, missed a good chance on the last. Let's try and make it, let's try and give ourselves another, okay? Same sort of shot, little draw. Oh my God, I've never swung it so well. Just get a little left for me. Oh, it's on the green. It's about 25, 30 feet. Good shot. I mean, from 200 yards away, I'll take that all day long. I absolutely pured it. Where's that golf swing come from? 
I wish it would stay. Do you ever get those days where you're just swinging it amazing and you just kind of know at the back of your mind the next time you turn up, it's just not going to be that way, is it? What a game. Right, I think I've hit a pretty decent shot into that. That's got some lovely bit of stop from a six iron downwind. Greens are absolutely immaculate and fast and receptive and all of the things that generally scare me. But today I'm feeling good, I'm feeling positive. Right, this hopefully is the last shot of the video because I'd like this to drop in for an even par. I feel a bit unfortunate that I didn't really par the first now. Oh well. Okay, I'm not massively seeing much in this, to be honest. Um, I see a little bit of right to left. I feel the wind's a little bit left to right, and I feel like the grain's a bit left to right as well. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go with the power of the slope, power of gravity. I'm gonna go right edge. And if we can get the pace right, providing the line's right, guess what? That's right, it'll drop. Come on, pace, pace, pace. Pace is the most important thing. <laughs> God, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. I was after it. I was taking the step and everything. That was a lot faster than I actually anticipated. Surely, surely, surely. This is a gimme. I don't care what happens. That is... Oh, that is outrageous. How on earth... How on earth did that actually miss? Is that real? Is that real life that's just happened there? Oh, right. Robbed, daylight robbery. Guys, massive, massive thank you to the beautiful Els Club in Dubai. Great golf course, great fun to play. I haven't been down here for ages actually, so probably since before summer, so it's amazing to, amazing just to see it again. It's looking incredible. Massive thank you to them. Massive thank you for you to watching. I've shot one over on Lions Den. If you've ever played this golf course, Jump in the comments below. Let me know what you kind of scored for these three holes. Three very, very difficult holes. I'm going to carry on now. I'm going to play a few more holes. I've got a bit of practice to do, I think, particularly on the, uh, the old flat stick. But I'm, like, I'm enjoying this. I'm liking it. Guys, thanks for watching. Please do hit the subscribe button. Also, follow me on the social media platform. We've got Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. LinkedIn. Um, what else is there? TikTok. I don't do that. I'm too old for that. See you in a bit, guys.